Perfect. All right. Welcome back, everybody. This is our Christmas special. Christmas special, right? Not a uh, not a regular episode, but uh, much like the uh, Thanksgiving and Halloween one that we did. Mm-hmm. You know, just keeping uh, giving you guys something on the holidays. Just giving back a little bit. That way, you remember us and make us a part of your house and your family when you're spending time together and having fun and thinking about us. Thinking about us. You know, put us on that TV with the crackling. You know fireplace in the back oh a to yule us. log mm-hmm. we should make a yule log <laughs> so <laughs> i'll only say that because uh, uh linus tech tips um they made a yule log i forgot how long it was but um i mean you just got to get something on repeat and let it you know make a five hour video or something like just like a video of your jokes over and over and over Ooh, or just us making faces we can be oh we're good at that one right <laughs> could have like a fire log burning in the mm-hmm. background actually uh speaking of yule logs um or here we'll uh welcome back to talking nerdy uh christmas special we got justin aka prom ross, prom ross colby the slayer of world of warcraft colby <laughs> beautiful. beautiful right intro um yeah so was, but uh since we're on the topic of yule logs so every year for christmas um usually like the weekend or two weekends before christmas tiff and i will get a little sauced up and wrap everybody's gifts mm-hmm. yep just to make it fun you know it starts out really good uh you know all the lines are just meticulously straight and it starts getting a little sloppier and sloppier towards the end of the night um but one of the things that we always have in the background every single year is a darth vader yule log oh playing in the background and it's somewhat morbid because uh in the older star wars movies that you are not a fan of uh there's a scene where they lay darth vader down to and they you know light his body on fire to cremate him Mm -hmm. it's uh the yule log is darth vader laying in the fire crackling (laughs) for five hours i I never said i didn't (laughs) like him those videos i just said i just think there's some elitist people out there (laughs) <laughs> who think they're way better than the other ones and that's all i i think I, I don't like them as much because of the elitist that i think i you know what i'm saying i mean the the new ones though the only thing that they have on it is special effects mm-hmm. the storyline's way better than the older ones you're introducing so many just huge characters in the older ones that everybody still remembers today yes i agreed yeah mm-hmm. i still get uh ray and I can't even remember his name. What's the uh, bad guy in the Ren. new ones? Ren. I get Ren. Ren. Is that really it? I don't know. Kylo Ren. Kylo. Yeah, Ren and Ray. Okay, so I get Ray and Ren mixed up all the time. It's just it's stupid. Okay. Yeah, it'd be like having a Darth Vader and a Vader, like instead of Vader, like Vader, in the same movie, and it's like no, don't do that. Okay, so you should. You mean they shouldn't have an R. They should have should have been the polar opposite names. Okay. Yeah, you have you have the antagonist, or you have the. That's hero why he doesn't guy. like the show, just because of the names. That's it. <laughs> Nothing else, just the names. I, I never Got remember it. who I'm watching. No, uh, I mean, there's yeah, we we already talked about it. There's such they're emotional characters. I hate it. They are. Um, but yeah, no. So that's yeah, drinking and Darth Vader on fire in the background Beautiful. every year. Beautiful. Yeah, it's fun. Mm-hmm. Do you guys have any traditions? We do, yeah. Mm-hmm. Give the kids melatonin and wrap Christmas mm-hmm. gifts and eat cookies. Mel- uh, Rachel wraps all the Christmas gifts. All of them. All y- of them. You don't do any. Have you seen my handwriting? It's better than mine. Oh wait, not your not your signatures. Your sig. Oh, it's not better than mine. I thought I thought you had girly no, handwriting. I do not have girly handwriting. I have terrible handwriting. So if you, you think got about Gatorade on the notepad. <laughs> <laughs> First drink, actually. Um, yeah, no, bad handwriting, bad rapping. I've done it a couple times, and then I just get so frustrated because I'm ADD, right? A little bit. So you just want to get done with it. Just want to get done, so I just get bags. Uh, uh, that's smart. Yeah, bags, staple them. And then you can choose what kind of tissue paper goes in there. No head. tissue paper, just bags and staple <laughs> That's so lazy. Yep. <laughs> That's about right. right. Really screams love when you're giving that mm-hmm. to somebody. Here you go. Yeah. I didn't wrap this one, but trust me. <laughs> it's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. Well, in the uh, spirit of Christmas, I figured uh, we would do maybe some Christmas trivia. Um, 
and just kind of talk about like uh you know what christmas what we're excited about about christmas and maybe like our favorite christmas movies uh christmas foods and maybe some fun facts about christmas if we get into that a little bit later okay um but yeah do you want to since we have the paper out do you want to start with the trivia let's do it all right so this one's going to be a christmas trivia uh we haven't seen the questions and there's a easy mode 10 questions we'll just blast through them and then there's a hard mode 10 questions so i think 10 questions mm-hmm. okay so i should label them and then okay label it twice and who do you guys think is gonna win because obviously this guy will not win <laughs> oh it'll definitely be me are you a big christmas guy i mean what do you define that what does that mean is it your favorite holiday um i love the snow i love the idea of the snow Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just beautiful snow. You're a lefty. That's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> we think with our right mind, though. The creative, artistic side. I will spill this Gatorade. You're actually, you know what? That's very fitting uh, of us. So I'm left-handed. I'm a drawer. Uh, you know, I'm into all the digital art stuff. Because um, I think with the creative side of the brain, you're right-handed. And you are very analytical, which is a common trait of uh, right-handers. I mean, Numbers, math, stuff like that. Say, but that's like... What is it? Eleven, ninety percent of the world's right-handed. So you're saying ninety oh, yeah. percent of the world's analytical? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to give ninety percent of the world that much credit, but uh, there's usually other factors <laughs> that that uh, there's reasons why they have diminishing returns. Diminishing also. returns. That's a wow term, actually. <laughs> is it? It is. If you actually play with me, you'd actually understand oh, that. No, never mind. I we know. won't go with it right now. All right, easy, hard, uh, one through ten. Let's get into it. I really hope easy isn't hard. I don't think it's going to be. All right. Uh, You want to trade off on? Yeah, you go odd. I'll go even. Okay. Uh, So first question, what Christmas ballet is the most famous of all? Our options are (laughs) Rudolph Surprise, The Nutcracker, Mr. and Mrs. Claus, and Frosty Goes to New York. Might as well just give me that point right there. Because I remember um, back in my day going to that play. Man, ballet many times right oh, wait what yeah i have been to that ballet more than probably 10 times that's a little i don't think that's right number two what? that's that's a song in there yeah, it might be it might be it's gotta be all right uh oh yeah two's you where was mommy kissing santa claus Ooh. In the, on the corner in the bedroom under the mistletoe in a dark alley <laughs> dark alley it was definitely a dark alley <laughs> if it was mommy present day <laughs> What does that mean? Uh, I mean, the girls nowadays. What does that supposed to mean? I don't know. The class has left <laughs> the earth. Uh, oh, yeah, You can't yeah. figure it out yet? No, no, no. I had to sing the stupid yeah, yeah, song this, in this my is, head. This is over. It's over. I'm going to get 10 <laughs> for 10. He's going to get like three. <laughs> uh, all right, number three. Who wrote the song, Here oh. Comes Santa Claus? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, options right. are Michael Jackson. Uh, Hey, hey. We know Michael. It's not Michael. I love little Mikey. I love little Michael. <laughs> uh, Gene Autry, uh, Percy Douglas, or Leroy Jones. You know what? I am I know who I'm picking, and I'll explain why after. Little Mikey? I love. I'm going to pick the oldest sounding name because it is an old song, mm-hmm. and the bottom two are kind of old. That's a tough one. That's actually hard one. I did not know that one. That was a complete guess. I know it's not Michael, though. How is it in the easy? Are we in the easy? Yeah, Yeah, we're in the easy. All Mm. right, number four. What does Alvin want for Christmas? An iPod, a bottle of rum, a hula hoop, a new car. Easy, 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 easy. Is it? Yeah. Mm, Man, my test, my... Man, mine's like bringing me back to school. You know when you get the multiple choice answers Mm -hmm. and you just pick all the ones in the center? Mm -hmm. Right? That's kind of... I'm hiding my answers. He's going to try to cheat. That's what mine's looking like. I'm just picking like c for everything <laughs> uh all right so uh number five what should uh what should little children leave out for santa on christmas eve everybody should know this unless you don't celebrate christmas but you should still know this What's it, what are the options oh options uh cookies and milk a bottle of wine chewing gum cheddar cheese nice what does santa I don't, like to okay eat? that that song here comes the santa claus is not on the easy that's that's a hard question that is a hard one i think all so. the other ones are super easy i'll get number six. six 
What is Frosty the Snowman's nose made of? A carrot, a potato, a button, or a rock? Mmm. I do know that one. Do you? Mm-hmm. I had to think about it. I had to think about a movie. <laughs> uh, number seven. Who is Ebenezer the Milkman, the 23rd President, the Scrooge, or Mrs. Claus's secret friend? Okay, that was an easy one. What color is the Grinch? Green, blue, white, or black? I don't see color, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm colorblind. <laughs> uh, number nine, which reindeer's name starts with a B? Options are Bart, Simpson, Bert, Reynolds, Bodog, and Blitzen. Okay, now that you're trying to figure that one out, which reindeer does not belong below? Dancer, Comet, Roger, or Dasher? <laughs> which one's not the same? <laughs> I'm going to give myself a 9 out of 10. Uh, I feel strong about that too. Maybe because I'm seeing a lot of the same numbers. Okay. Uh, did you do A, B, or C? No, or I actually wrote, wrote out the three? answer. Oh, you wrote? That's probably smart. We'll see how it does. They didn't give you A, B, C, or D. They gave you just the list. Okay, hold on. <laughs> this is that's a left brain. That's right brain thinking right there. Probably. He's so creative. <laughs> I saw I saw a bubble. He saw a number. <laughs> <laughs> or a, a Which is weird because it should have been the other way around. Mm-hmm. But I think analytical. Remember, so. Right. Or normal. Three steps ahead. Got my Gatorade Zero today. Zero calories. Zero taste. Just kidding. It's way better than bubbly. No, 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 no. It's not. Because you're left with like that disappointment lack of sugar taste. Agreed. But it's better than bubbly. Bubbly. You don't get me started on bubbly. I will not be sponsored by them. <laughs> Ever. I wouldn't mind. Or, uh, or, uh, what's that water, um, that Sam was drinking? Vitamin water? No, 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 no. That black can that Sam was drinking? Oh, yeah. I remember that stuff. Liquid Death. That would be a good sponsor. I'd try it. Did you not try it? No. I tried a bubbly before. Uh, So Liquid Death, though, is is, is pretty cool. Uh, you Back in the day, were you a beer person? No. Okay. Uh, it, it has the same mouthfeel as drinking a beer. Gross. Which is weird, but it's it's water, obviously. Okay. You ready? Do we just click on, you're just going to click on them and it'll tell you if it's right or wrong? Uh, yep. Okay. What? Do, 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 do. Show me the answers. Oh, you, didn't, you didn't click on it. Oh, you have to select. A, that yeah, makes sense. We're doing a test, so. No, that one, that one screwed up. Oh. It jumped. Was, it yeah. jumped. I saw you. Yep, you're four for four. Yep, five for five. Six for six. Seven for seven. Don't know. <laughs> Did you pick the same person? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. This would be interesting then. Yeah. Uh, da, da, da. Eight. <sighs> At least nine. One of us might win. Right? Okay. The following answers were incorrect. Number three. Oh, oh. We both got it wrong. Oh, really? So the one, so we all got the same answers except for number three of who wrote the song Here Comes Santa Claus. And I picked Percy Douglas going off of it had to be an old name. I picked Leroy Jones because of Leroy Jenkins. Leroy Jenkins. Exactly. Dang it, Leroy. I know. He I screwed like up again. But Gene Autry. Doesn't <sighs> even sound that old. No. Nope. Gene. But yeah, you want to go over the answers real quick just so they know? Oh, yeah, yeah, they yeah. probably know. Number Yeah, you guys probably know. But number one, uh, Christmas Ballet, the most famous one of all. Everybody knows it. Times Square has it running all the time. Every high school has it playing every year. The Nutcracker. Mm -hmm. Number two. Where was mommy kissing Santa Claus and not Justin? Mm. Not Justin's mom in the dark alley. Uh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh. Under the mistletoe. Oh, <laughs> uh, that just got dark. Yeah, you mean it was dark alley. This is dark alley. Somebody needs to put on a nightlight down that alley. Number three, who wrote the song Here Comes Santa Claus? We just went over it. Gene Autry. Knew that. <laughs> Knew that. What does Alvin want for Christmas? And then that's obviously the hula hoop. Hula hoop. I had to sing that sing that song in your head. Uh, no, no, no. I actually knew that one. Um, a lot of these, that, like that one, I had, to, I had to sing the song in my head. Oh. Yeah. No, I was thinking carrot and button. And I was like, nope, it's not a carrot. I was thinking, so button uh, didn't come into my head until I heard, like, did the song in my head. There's a song? 
Yeah. Uh, Frosty the Snowman. Da, 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 da. Mm. But it's like a uh, corn cup pipe and a butt in nose and two eyes made out of coal. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, and, oh, we skipped five. So five, what should little children leave out for Santa on Christmas Eve? Cookies and milk. Those parents get hungry. Mm-hmm. So leave some extra ones. Home <laughs> freshly made. Freshly made. Kids, mm-hmm. get in the, watch Master Chef Jr. make some cookies for Santa and leave some extra right for Right when parents. you go to bed, make them. <laughs> don't, don't forget to turn the oven <laughs> off. <laughs> uh, go for it. What is Frosty the Snowman's nose made of? Obviously, he just said it with a button. A button. Cute little button. Uh, who is Ebenezer? Ebenezer Scrooge. The Scrooge. Yep. The Scrooge. What color is the Grinch? Probably the easiest one here. Yeah, I think the Grinch. So. Yeah. Actually, I filled out like the six or ten when you were still reading. Oh, really? I just scrolled down and well, I looked down and I was like, oh, easy, easy. easy. <laughs> uh, which reindeer's name starts with a B? Uh, it is not Bart Simpson. It is Blitzen. And the last one that I got correct. I don't know about Justin. It was which reindeer does not belong below? And it was Roger. Roger, dang it, Roger, get out of here. All right, let's fly even faster through the harder ones if we can. Uh, this is uh, rated difficult, so uh, same thing, odds, evens? Yep. Okay. First one, what Christmas plant is Viscum used to label? Viscum. Oh, easy. Easy. I easy. think I know the answer. I don't. Okay. The name of Scro- Scrooge's dead business partner. James Will. Yeah. John, you know this one? Oh, wait. I didn't give the yeah. options of the Viscum. No, you didn't. Uh, so the options for Viscum was mistletoe, holly, ivy, and sage. Nice. And then what are the options for uh, Scrooge's dead business partner? James Wilcott, John Mantis, Jacob Merrily, or Jimmy Booth. I actually don't know any of these so far. And you did, and I don't like this. <laughs> I do not like this. Um, <laughs> it's stupid if I miss it. They stepped it up a level. I don't got my holiday nog here. I'm just kay. gonna take a quick little sip. Go for it. Yes. I don't so feel confident. Uh, I don't. F- I don't feel a hundred percent, but I do think I'm right. All right. So number three, which author made the remark? I gave them for dinner a piece of roast beef and plum puddings. And after dinner, half a pint of strong beer apiece. What? Oh, gosh. What the heck is that? Oh, Author, so one. it's a book. Mm-hmm. With names? Yeah, names. That, oh, that'll sorry, help names. Us. That'll uh, help me. <laughs> uh, so the options are Philip Larkin, James Woodford, uh, Samuel Johnson, and Evelyn Wow or Woe or Woo. Wah? Something. Uh, Good luck. Yeah. All right. Who tried to steal Christmas from the Who's of Whoville in the 1966 cartoon based on the Dr. Seuss story? This sounds like a trick question. (laughs) (laughs) Because it's so straightforward in the difficult one, uh, or it seems so straightforward. I got to go with the easy if I answer. I don't. What are the options? Oh, sorry. The Grinch, the Snowman, Hattie Jocks, Jocks, Ian Holm. Jacques? 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 <laughs> I don't know. Uh, number five, what was the film called in which Peter Audi sang Walking in the Air? The options are The Grinch, The Snowman, Hattie Jacques, uh, and Ian Holmes. Oh, my gosh. Never heard of a movie called Hattie Jacques, Jacques whatever. It's probably a movie, but uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, what Christmas food is made from Marsh Warts? Marsh Warts? Marsh Warts? Okay, so Marsh is probably mash, right? So you've got... Oh, read the options first. Oh, stuffing, sweet potatoes, marshmallows, cranberry sauce. All right, so I'm thinking Marsh is probably mash. So you got potatoes, stuffing, <laughs> and you can mash cranberry sauce. And then Warts? I think I'm going to have... Oh, I'm not giving you the answer, but I think I'm... I think you're wrong. I think I'm wrong, too. <laughs> I don't know. This is tough. This is way hard. Uh, next one is, which ocean is Christmas Island in? Uh, the options are Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, and the Arctic Ocean. 
And I think I actually know the answer to this one because my grandparents have been there when they went down to Perth. Oh, I don't know. If that yeah, I don't know where Perth is. So. Oh, okay. I just gotta remember what ocean. I'm gonna play over the. I'm gonna play the odds. Oh, I thought I knew the oceans better. Like where they're at related to this mm-hmm. place. Um, I th- okay. Yeah, you I got th- it. I think so. Who wrote the poem, The Cultivation of Christmas Trees? Oh. oh. Easy. That was a classic. <laughs> it's <laughs> Paul Theroux, Theroux, Walt Whitman, James Joyce, T.S. El- Elliot? Elliot? Elliot. Oh, usually two T's. Easy. This is a classic, classic poem. <laughs> is it? It is. The it's Cultivation of mm-hmm. Christmas Trees? Beautiful. You guys read it every year? That is actually my only tr- Christmas tradition. <laughs> uh, which continent is the turkey from? North America, South America, Europe, Australia. Uh, I don't think the turkey is from here. I want to say here. Don't oh, cheat. Because they're so dang abundant here, but we farm them, so maybe they're not from here. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't ever hear about them in us. Aus- no, they're not in Australia. Um, Europe, maybe? But South America? No, they're not in hot states. Europe or North America? Um, hmm. I'm probably going to get this one wrong. I think we're, I'm going to get like three. <laughs> Odds are this three. is harder. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. In which author's novel is it always winter but never Christmas? C. S. Lewis, John Macefield, Jacob Marley, or Sherlock Holmes? Spelt wrong. Oh, there's no L in there. No, so it could be real. Could be real, but Sherlock's a fictional character. Uh, based off of somebody, but, um, let's see here. This is gonna be tough. This is gonna be really tough. All right. So I answered the last one. You want to go through and do them? Yeah, sure. Start you off at the top there. Oh, uh, here, I'll turn the mouse on. Oh, I guess I don't need the mouse. There you go. If you want it, yeah. you can even use it over there. My right contact's kind of like going out. It's off. So it's hard for me to see out of that right eye. So, um, which what Christmas? Oh, I just have to do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick my answers. Okay. Oh my gosh. We have different D- answers on that. Yeah. Well, you didn't have this answer right here. <gasps> no, I did not. Nice. So. All right. Somebody's gonna be a winner here. Uh. Yeah. So far, we don't agree. Okay, we agree there. <laughs> this is an easy one. That was easy. I knew that one. Is it? You knew that? Yeah. Oh. Okay, we picked different there. We picked, I think we only have like one that's similar. That one I know we picked different. I just played the odds. In my analytical brain, brain picked the odds. Because it's like one of the largest it oceans. the largest ocean. Yeah, because you have north and south. All right. Uh, God, I should have, ah, uh, I should, yeah. You think any of my answers I picked are right? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I didn't pick that one. You should be like celebrating. But <laughs> I, Yeah, I know. But I do think you're probably right. Did it? Oh, you didn't hit it. Oh, I got I got four right. <clears throat> okay, so you got four right. So all right. Uh, Question number one. All right, so you got four right. I think the easiest way would just be to have me do it and then see how yep. many I got. Okay, so uh, I got four. Colby got four out of ten. That's forty percent. That's not passing. Uh, let's see here. Um, Walt Whitman sounded like uh, what was that? Sounded familiar. It did. It sounded like I was thinking like Walter White. Oh, <gasps> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wrong. You suck. Wait, I think we read those wrong. So the following answers were incorrect: two, three, and eight. You got, got eight. You got seven right. I got six right. No, you got seven right. I got, yeah, so I got seven right. And I got six right. Oh, dang it. It won't let me go back. But, yeah, so four out of, yeah, so, okay, so I got one more than you. Um, I guess we'll. Number one? Miss, so, number one was mistletoe for viscous. 
And, yep, and then number two. Jacob Merrily told you. He did. Got that one. (laughs) Uh, Number three was James Wood Ford. I got that one, too. I guessed. Wrong. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The correct answer. No, those are wrong. Because I... Why why does it show that? Because I picked North America, but it says the correct answer is okay. James, and I did not so pick hold on. that. I missed this one. Okay, so I got this one correct. I got that one correct. Number four. What's four? I think we both got four. Four is correct. So four was the Grinch. Okay. Uh, five. I picked five was the Snowman. Okay, I got that right. I, I did, yeah. The snowman. Shut your mouth. <laughs> that was the one where you're like, easy, I got Six this. Six was cranberry sauce. I got, got that. that one. I yep. missed that one. Seven was Indian Ocean. You got that. Yep. Okay. Eight was James. Eight was T.S. Eliot. Oh, okay. I got that wrong. Missed me too. And then nine was North America. Got that right. Missed okay. that one. And then 10 was C.S. Lewis. C.S. I got that right. Okay. I got, I got four. Yeah. So mistletoe, I got two wrong. Three... I got four. Is wrong. You only got four, right? Yeah. You got seven. Yeah. Stupid game. I don't want to play anyways. <laughs> oh, man. That was cool. All right. We learned a little bit about Christmas, I guess. Maybe. Yeah. I'll never remember those. You better. Right? Be on the pop quiz. Mm, it's kind of. <laughs> uh, we'll spit just a few fun facts out. I don't know. Yeah. Right? Uh, in case you didn't know, Sweden celebrates Christmas with a giant straw Yule goat. Not a Yule log. Yule goat. goat. Then light that thing on fire. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. That would be cool to see. Oh man, Peta here though would be like, nah, you ain't doing that. Peta, the animal rights thing. I don't, I don't know what my fellow <laughs> Americans are doing. <laughs> Ralphie from A Christmas Story was also in Elf. Really? Yeah. Okay, that face. He was the he was at the the workshop or whatever in, in the North Pole. The uh, uh, he was Ming Ming the toy making supervisor. Yeah, so he was the one that was uh, when Buddy the Elf was making the etching sketches. He was like, "How many have you made, Buddy?" Sixty oh, six. What did he say? Yeah, so something like that. Yeah. And then he's just like, <gasps> like, and it, when you when he first does it, you're like, "Oh, that's a lot." And then he's like, "You're so far behind." Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I I actually didn't know that, but after seeing and reading that title, it was like, okay, it makes sense. Hmm. Huh. Uh, two of Santa's reindeers originally had different names. I didn't know that. Uh, two of the flying creatures had slightly different names, according to uh, Syracuse.com. Donner and Blitzen were instead Dunder and Blixem. Sounds like Dunder and Mifflin. Dunder and Mifflin, that's right. Yeah. Hmm. They originally worked for the paper company. They did. <laughs> the Michael Scott paper company. Yeah. Uh, skip. Uh, that's okay. The original "Rocking Around the Christmas Tree" was uh, originally recorded by a 13-year-old. Didn't know that. Uh, artificial Christmas Christmas trees were once made with goose feathers. Gross. <laughs> I don't want that. You get a goose feather pillow, and those little quills just get mm-hmm. get you in the face, and they get everywhere. Uh, Hallmark holiday movies only take two weeks to film. That's crazy. Makes sense. How crappy they are. No, my wife loves those movies. So does Tiff. They're, they're but really, they're garbage. They are garbage. They all the same story. Same exact. Exact Just, story, different areas. They pick a different town <laughs> and different actors, and that's literally it. They're all. <laughs> usually a rich guy falls in love with a hometown girl. Yep. Who's struggling, working at the laundromat, or can't even afford to bring her close to the laundromat. But has a good heart. Great heart. Helps That's out it. the community. Mm-hmm. Oh, every time, yeah. every time. Every time. And then she strikes his eye. He's like, ooh, I can park my Lexus here for the night. Lexus. Tra- or Maserati, or right? And it's just this. It's, th- it's definitely made to tug at women's heartstrings. Um, and Justin's. And mine. How many, how many, have, you watched? How many have you watched? Too, m- too many. Okay. I- I'm many. in the same boat with you. Yeah. They, she puts them on, and they're so stupid. Yep. But you watch them because you're like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. And I got to say, I've never had a man roll up in a Maserati asking to sweep me off my feet. So they're not practical. No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. I'm still waiting. Still, still waiting. <laughs> uh, Christmas could have been a spring holiday. What? 
A long time ago, Pope Julius decided that Christmas should be celebrated on December 25th. However, history points out it wasn't because that was the date that Jesus was born. Instead, many people believed it was to overshadow a pagan festival called uh, Saturnalia, which also happened on that day. In fact, Jesus may have actually been born during the spring. I knew that, actually. I knew parts of that, the obvi- like the Jesus side of it, but I didn't know that there was almost a different date for Christmas. Yeah. Huh. Jingle Bells was first played in space? Was the first oh, song I read that wrong. played in space. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Um, And it was originally a Thanksgiving song. Hmm. Jingle Bells was originally a Thanksgiving song? Oh, didn't know that. I did not. The more you know. That's crazy. Uh, the tradition of hanging stockings comes from a legend about marriage. Eh, that's cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. The NORAD Santa Tracker was created due to a child's misunderstanding. Oh, you haven't looked at that yet, have you? The tracker? Yeah. I've seen it before. It's okay. cool. Yeah. It, uh, it bounces around. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. He's fast. He's pretty dang quick. Um, if you gave all the gifts listed in the 12 days of Christmas, it would equal 364 presents. Oh, as days. Like if you gave 12 gifts on the 12th day. Oh. Right? Because there's no other way that's happening. No, that's too high. 11 on the 11th, 10 on the 10th. Okay. No, that's too low. No, no, no. Well, so if you gave... No, be 12, because you can't give, tw- that'd be 144, okay? And 11 times 11 is 121. Oh. And then 10 times 10 is 109 times 9 is 81. That's way over. I don't know how it works. Don't ask me that. Yeah. There's that analytical side of me. It says, <laughs> nope, that's wrong. But maybe it's right. We just don't understand it. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> Bless your soul. <laughs> oh man. Uh in Ukraine, spiders are considered a symbol of good luck at Christmas. Creepy. Screw that. Makes sense. Right? It's Ukraine. They're probably feeding vodka to the spiders. It's not Russia. Is it not Russia? It's not. It's not. I mean, is it really not? It's not. <laughs> I mean, but could it be? <laughs> I mean, my neighbors, right. my neighbors are Ukrainian. Oh, I I know they absolutely hate it when you mistake yep, it. Yep, they yeah. do. No, I know. I, yeah, I had a I had a Russian ex, and yeah, people would. You have, dated a Russian? Uh huh. Nice. I think so. Could have been a Ukrainian. You think so. <laughs> Just kidding. No, she's Russian, but yeah, no, they absolutely hate it because uh, not so much Russians because everybody assumes Russian, but when people are Ukrainian, people will ask them, "Are you Russian?" And they're always like, no, Ukrainian. That was a terrible accent. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just, I grew up with so many of them. I, I know. So many of who? Uh, great people. Great people. Good great answer. People. Yeah. Good answer. Yeah. <laughs> Good answer. Good, Good answer. answer. <laughs> uh, what's this one? The Christmas tree pickle is a tradition to keep eager kids calm on Christmas morning. Calm? Hmm. Because they got to go search for it, so they're ruining the tree. All the ornaments are dropping. They're super excited. Um, According to today, the Christmas pickle is more than just a common ornament. It's a tradition. As the quirky tradition goes, the first child to find the glass pickle hidden in the tree on Christmas morning either wins a prize or the privilege of opening the first gift. The goal to keep kids from rushing through the process of opening presents and instead take the time to enjoy each one. How does that work? That's not going to work. That's not going to work. No. They're going to knock down the tree. Yeah, ornament glass ornaments yeah, are dropping. That's the worst idea I've ever heard. Th- they're gonna find. They're gonna race to find that yeah. pickle if that is your rules in your house, and then they're gonna find it. You're gonna give that kid the chance to open one present first, and then it's off to the races. Wrapping no, paper. It's everywhere. not gonna get there. Probably not. You're gonna tackle the tree, mm-hmm. find the pickle. They're gonna do this bef- when it, the parents are asleep. Probably. Presents are me. Oh, it's me. Terrible. That's a terrible. Kids idea. don't have finesse. Like no. they're not gonna like neatly no. go into the tree and look for. It. It's this just, is definitely. Pfft, a, where is it? I don't feel a pickle. Do you? These are def. Whoever wrote this is definitely does not have kids. Yep. Right. That are old enough at least. <laughs> Eggnog dates back to medieval times. That's cool. Hmm. Uh, gross. It was originally served hot. Um, 
Eggnog is a signature beverage of the holiday season and one that has a history dating all the way back to the medieval times and a drink called posset uh, made with sweetened and spiced milk curdled with ale or wine and served hot according to the health line monks in the 13th century. Gross. Disgusting. That sounds bad. Uh, Tinsel was once made of real silver. That's pretty cool. If you have any silver from uh, the early 1600s, I mean, if you have any tinsel from the early 1600s, cash it out. Nice. Yeah. All right. That's probably enough of those. Um, but you guys will probably be sitting down watching some movies on Christmas. Mm-hmm. I would think, right? Like, yeah. What are your What are you guys' favorite movies over there? Our favorite movies, as a family, or yours, whatever. You speak for the family right <clears throat> now. <laughs> well. Since my kids watch movies in the car all the time, mm-hmm. I'll tell you which ones they watch a lot of. Okay. Um, we'll just start off my list. Um, kids ones. Home Alone. Oh, yeah. Watch that one. Probably, they probably watched it like 30 times this year. Already? Mm-hmm. Wow. This There's year. a new one that just dropped. Yeah, we watched it already. Oh, okay. Yeah, Home Alone 2. That's a classic, too. They love both of them. Oh, yeah. Love them both. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, they haven't seen that one. Oh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Yes. Same one in Which that one? one? The one with Jim Carrey? Jim Carrey. Yeah, yeah. Yep, they love the Jim Carrey one. That's the best one. It is. The animated one that came out a few years ago isn't bad. I don't know if I saw that. It's got, uh, I think it's the dude, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. I think, oh, yeah? Right, I think that's the voice of it. Is that his name? Benedict Cumberbatch. Batch. Batch of cookies. Doctor Strange? Yes. Yep, that guy. That guy, okay. <laughs> Doctor Strange. Um. Yeah, and then Elf. Oh, yes. Elf's a classic. Instantly like a mm-hmm. favorite mm-hmm. for everybody. Yeah, especially Jeff, but just besides the point. Dude, he dresses up like Elf around Christmas he time. He does. He does. We can't make this about Jeff, but he does. No, no, no. This is a Christmas special. Screw Jeff. Yeah. I mean, but he does dress like Elf. We just wanted you to know that. Yes. Full costume. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Yep. Yeah. And then jumps into the race car. Anyways, um, <laughs> um, that's pretty much all my kids watch. Uh, me... Uh, I've seen like a Christmas story a couple times. Okay. Classic. Not my favorite. You're going to shoot your eye out. Yep. You're going to shoot your eye out. The Santa Claus. Oh, they watch the Santa Claus all the time too. Mm. You watch that one? No. Uh, No. Is that the... Tim Allen. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I I've think we just watched that one last week actually. I used to watch that all the time actually. Um, What else did they... Um, and Gremlins. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen that movie in like 10 years, but that it's was... It's been a long time weird yeah <laughs> um and then my wife always watched just friends oh yeah ryan reynolds loves can't go just wrong. friends she loves just friends loves it and then um i think all the hallmark movies um just classics mm-hmm. agreed probably seen about 50 of them myself <sighs> how about you uh did you know zach efron started out in hallmark i didn't yeah i didn't want to know that <laughs> <laughs> the more you know. Uh, for me, Elf is a big one. We mm-hmm. watch it every single year, uh, multiple times. And then uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, dual uh, holidays because we do watch it on Halloween and then we do watch it for Christmas. Um, the Grinch, the Jim Carrey one, mm-hmm. definitely. Um, the Night Before, which is an adult Christmas yep. movie. Yep. Right? You've got uh, uh, Seth Rogen mm-hmm. and the guy from Third Rock from the Sun and... Um, I, I never remember that guy's name, but he was in a movie with Bruce Willis where he played like the younger version of Bruce Willis. Yep. Right. Um, that one's a pretty funny, raunchy one. Miracle on 34th Street. I think that was the first Christmas movie I've ever seen. Um, so I used to watch it all the time. Uh, and I would, do you ever see the original or one of the original Jack Frost movies? I saw Jack Frost. Not the, not the one with, uh, not that the guy. live action. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I didn't. I didn't see a. Oh, right. Here, let me pull up a picture because you probably have seen it. Mister He Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. Mister He, yep. Mister. Yep. yep. Heat Miser. Heat Miser. Yep. 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 Okay, you know what I'm talking about. I do. So that, and then I'm gonna throw in. Where did my note go? Oh, it's right there. Okay, so I'm gonna throw, throw in uh, Dumb and Dumber as well. Dumb and Dumber. That's a. It's a great movie. Right. Great movie. One of my favorites of all time. Mary Swans Sam, Sam, Samson. Maybe it's on the briefcase. <laughs> right. Way off. <laughs> Way off. Um, I got some other ones I want to put out there just for I people swear. who, who, you know, 
Yeah, go for it. Uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Yep. Don't know if I've seen it or not. Really? I don't remember. Oh, gotcha. Probably have, just don't remember. Yeah. Um, Justin's favorite that he didn't mention. I'm sorry. I know you... Frozen. Ooh. Big fan from him. Big Let fan. Let it go. Yeah. Let it go. Mm-hmm. We actually uh, just watched the second one the other night. Frozen, Terrible. Frozen 2. Terrible. Yeah. You liked it. It's, it's not like bad. It. It's not bad. The songs aren't as catchy. No, they're not as catchy. Right? I'm more of about, like... It's, yeah, I mean, because it's a kids' movie, so the songs have to be good. There's got to be mm-hmm. something going on. Every yeah. time I come to your house, there's always kids' movies going on. That's weird. I have a kid. You do, <laughs> but no, yeah. I mean, I have, well, I have two because even if even before we had Mila, um, Tiff was always watching the Disney movies. Nothing wrong with Disney. No, I love Disney. Yeah, yeah, I love Deadpool. They they do good. No, Disney does good. Yeah, no, they do good. Pirates so, of the Caribbean. It's not Christmas, but I do like that one. Yeah, cool. <laughs> it's very cool. I'm in this cool onesie right now. I know. I actually, I think that's sick. I didn't know he was going to so show we got, up in my this. My family got matching onesies. D- really? So, yeah. These, this is, yeah. It's really tight. <laughs> got my cool. I'll show you my cool ears. It's like a superhero outfit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chokes me when I'm, you know, trying to talk. But it's all good because it's it's worth it tonight. Nice. Mm-hmm. And you got your hat? I got my hat. Yep. It's crooked. Goofy little thing. Yep. Um, actually there's a, a full set of these too. When we took family photos with Tiff's parents, uh, everybody had one. Nice. Yeah. Just a bunch of crazy, crazy Christmas stuff. You put yeah. it on your kid? Uh, not yet, but I probably will. No. Oh. Yeah. Did cool. you guys do a Christmas card or anything? <sighs> you guys no. should with the matching onesies. We did. We pro. Might be late now. Pretty late. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't. We didn't. As far as I know, we didn't. <clears throat> We're not very good at that. We uh, we've never done it except for this year. Now you have kids. Yeah, kid. We we've tried every year that me and Tiff have been together, and it just never works. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wait, no, we did do one when we got engaged. No. Oh. Maybe might have been the same year when we got the German Shepherd with your dog. Or maybe it was before. I know we were up at the mountain, and uh, yeah, we are up in the snow with at least the husky. Hmm. Yeah. Rolling around in the snow. Mm-hmm. Nice. Oh, yeah, the German Shepherd was there because he couldn't handle the snow. We get him out of the car. The husky's literally, like, pouncing around in the snow like a rabbit and or like a weasel or something, and, and uh, the German Shepherd gets out. He's super excited at first, and then he feels the, the snow and cold <laughs> on his paws. And he, like, plays for a second. He's just, like, by our side. He wants to get back into the car. <laughs> he's, like, you, you, sh- you can see him shaking. It's, like, all right, you're not made for this. Nope. <laughs> so we put him in the car, and the husky's still just, like, he would, like, disappear in the deep piles of and snow. Just keep jumping around. Mm-hmm. He was he was loving it. It was super cool. Um, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so we covered the movies. Do you guys uh, do, you do turkey, ham, whatever? On tur- I hope Christmas? we do ham. Ham? Yeah. Do you generally do turkey? I hope we do ham. <laughs> okay. I don't like turkey. It's, uh, yeah, right? I mean, we, it's okay. The turkey sandwiches are good, but for mm-hmm. the meal itself, it's turkey. Ham. It's all, yeah. And ham's easy to make. Yep. Yep. For Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you not do it with your, your parents? What? Christmas? No, we, uh, I don't know. It's Once you're married and have kids, it yeah. changes everything. You'll... Yeah. Sorry. No, no, no. Yeah, I know. I know. Because right now we're... Well, at least for Thanksgiving, we saw both sides, which get, makes it hectic, uh-huh. right? A lot of running around, mm-hmm. and everybody wants to see the baby. Uh, don't get me wrong. I love that they want to see her, but it is exhausting. Uh-huh. Yeah. Just wait. <laughs> Just wait. So this Christmas, we are doing Eve with one side, and then the day yeah. of, we are splitting it as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, morning with one, afternoon with the other. Yep. Yeah. And then... And in, within 10 years, one Christmas, you're like, nope, we're doing nothing. It's going to happen. I would like that, you know, this year. But. Yep. Too late now. You already <laughs> signed up. But already it's, committed. It's going to happen. You're gonna be like, And then once you do it, you're like, I don't want to do anything else ever again. Right. Right. If they want to see you, they can come to the house mm-hmm. and have dinner. Yeah. No, we're. I'm getting pretty close to to that. You're not. You're day. Year one. You're not year two. Year four. No, no, no. I know, but with, with a kid. But every year we we do this already. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah I know. Yeah, with so the kid. Yeah. So now we're like what five, uh, six, seven, 
I don't know. So a long time. Uh, but we've been doing it like that for like, I'll just say seven years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You're coming up then. It's getting, right. It's getting there one day. You're just like, nope, I just want to sit at home. <laughs> have the Darth Vader eulog. I think every year starts out with that conversation. It's like, this Christmas, let's just stay home. Hmm. And then all of a sudden it's like, hey, babe, we're going to go do this this morning and then we're, uh, this afternoon we're going to go do this. It's like, oh, yay. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for volunteering <laughs> Merry Christmas. Me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. But we should make a Talking Nerdy Yule Log. Uh, I'm still thinking about, about faces? that. Uh, something, yeah. We can do ASMR. Ooh. Yule Log ASMR. We can make crackle sounds. Mm-hmm. Right? Fire, crackle rub some sticks together i don't know we could do some awesome things you'll have to teach me teach uh, you what asmr yeah well, how to do it <laughs> <laughs> is there uh anything else you want to cover for the christmas special i've been good this year Ooh, have you been good i'd like to think so i don't know though because i don't know there's just so many like uh you know how like you're in like you no i don't want to go down that path uh yeah no i've been good mm-hmm. yeah good's in the eye beholder too so don't forget that, that that's kind of where i was going with that and mm-hmm. yeah we're never as good as we want to be yes but we're better than some people i feel like i would probably be on the naughty list but i would like to think but then you see the, the news and you're list. like nope not on the naughty list <laughs> right <laughs> i mean if i had somebody like taking pictures or filming my life 24 7 naughty list mm-hmm. yeah so when I turn in those pictures of filling him 24-7, you'll <laughs> oh, know. Oh, that was you in the yeah, bushes. It was me. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah. I saw the flash, and all I saw was like a red and blue blur, and yeah. I'm running so fast. <laughs> saw, my, saw my ears <laughs> yeah. flopping around. Oh, man. Well, uh, I'm going to say let's cut it. Sh- let's end it. You know, mm-hmm. I hope you guys are having a great Christmas. I almost said Thanksgiving. Um, Christmas time. Christmas time. Eat lots of food. Say hi to your family. Share some love. Uh, I love giving gifts. It's it's way better than receiving gifts, right? So give some gifts. It'll make people feel better. Make yourself feel better. Um, but yeah, just I hope you guys have a good Christmas. Thanks for checking us out, stopping by. You didn't have to. You got a busy day, but we appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Thanks for listening to our beautiful voices and uh, this mm-hmm. beautiful night and or day or whatever time you know, just to soothe you and. Just help you fall asleep during these tough times. Yeah. And if you really like us, just put a mistletoe over the screen. Beautiful. We're here for you. <laughs> that got weird. One of us. Oh, yeah. Pick. Him. One side will, if you if you were to kiss the screen, one side would skip the video forward. One side would let you relive the moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's weird. All Very right. awkward. Very awkward. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Merry Christmas. You're awesome. So awesome. Peace. Peace. <laughs>